Example 2, now we're supposed to sketch and find the range of y is equal to absolute cosine x and of course uh, y equals to absolute cosine x minus half and so on. Alright, so let's tackle part 1 first. Okay, and uh, how does uh, y equals to absolute cosine x look like? Alright, so here we go. This is how it looks like. Okay, so this is our y equals to absolute cosine x. Now why does it look this way? Well, very simple, isn't it? Because according to what we have talked about earlier on, that the absolute is actually a transformation that you reflect all the negative y values to become positive. So this is our original, okay, our original cosine x without the absolute. So as you can see, what really happens is this part here, all right, the negative part here, being reflected upwards, okay, and that is how we get to this curve. Right. So as you can see, the range of this curve will be restricted to the lowest point. All right, the lowest point will be y is equal to zero, and the highest point that you can ever go will be y is equal to one. So what that means is, of course, the range of y will be from zero to one. Okay. So of course, for part of the answer, what you have to do is, of course, you have to sketch what uh, we saw earlier on. I shan't attempt to sketch that here. I think it'll look awful. <laughs> okay. So, uh, but ultimately, you have to give the range. Right? You have to state the range. So the range will be from zero to one. Okay, and since range is referring to the y values, and therefore it is y, and uh, because the domain that's given to us has got equal to 0 and equal to 360, and therefore we put an equal sign for it as well. Okay, so let's move on to the next one, which is um, absolute cosine x minus half. Alright, let's take a look. So this was uh, where we were earlier on, so now let us uh, minus half, minus half. Okay, and of course this is precisely what happens, right? Um, as per what you should know, is that it is actually a translation of the absolute cosine x down by half a unit. So as you can see, this is actually a translation movement downwards, right? So as you can see from the red curve, okay, the lowest point is now at minus half. Okay, x uh, y is equal to minus half, and of course um, the highest point is of course positive half. Alright, so this then will form the range for our part 2's answer. Okay, so for our part 2's answer, according to the graph that we saw earlier on, and we know that it is from negative half to positive half. Okay, it's actually not that difficult, isn't it? Alright, let's move on to the third one. Alright, now for the third one, we have to you know, get rid of some of these curves. Okay. We need the absolute cosine x, so let us modify it, and uh, we need it to be negative, right? So let us put a negative in front of the cosine x. And as per what we have talked about earlier on as well, this transformation is, what kind of transformation is this? This is a reflection along the x-axis, isn't it? So you should see something a little like this. Okay, it's a reflection along the x-axis. So this is uh, the blue curve is our um, absolute cosine x, and of course the purple color curve will be our negative of absolute cosine x. Okay, and what we're going to do? Well, we're going to add half to this, isn't it? So let us move it right in front, and we have half minus. And what this does is, of course, this will move the curve move the purple colored curve up by half because this is as good as plus half. So what actually is going on here is, well, we first sketch the absolute cosine x and then we sketch the negative absolute cosine x which will then give us the purple curve and then we add the half, okay, which is, is actually the same as just moving up by half. Okay, so as you can see from um, this yellow color curve, that the lowest point is again at negative half, and the highest point is again at positive half. So then this will form the range for part 3's answer. And therefore, the part 3's answer is actually the same as our part 2's answer, which is from negative half to positive half. Okay, now it is actually rather important that you are able to sketch all this curve without the use of the software. 
Okay, so what what I urge you to do is to try to sketch out all this curve all by yourself. Okay, without any computer help at all. Okay, um, to see if you can get the same shapes that we saw earlier on. All right, and of course get the same domain as result. Okay.